Hi, welcome to IT Boy Solutions. Today we will learn something about Zabbix. I will say basics about Zabbix. So before that, uh, this is my channel IT Boy Solutions, and uh, here uh, I just started uh, making few videos, Linux tutorial, Zabbix tutorial, AWS tutorial. So today we're gonna add one lesson to Zabbix tutorial. So just go and uh, see these two videos. This is about uh, Zabbix lesson one. It is about Zabbix, how to install Zabbix monitoring server. And uh, this is about how to install Zabbix agent and how to add a host. Okay, so I will advise you just please go to these two videos so that you can understand today's tutorial very easily. <coughs> So this is our today's uh, tutorial work. You can say that uh, what is item, what is trigger, click key data. Okay, so just firstly go back to the console. This is our Zabbix server. And uh, this is a configuration tab. This is used to set up alerts. And uh, this is monitor monitoring tab. It will help us to monitor things like for example graphs here are a lot of graphs this is high cpu this is a low cpu green means it's good red and blue means it's bad okay <coughs> so so just come to the host means on which host do you wanna uh, set an alert for example this is my zapic server and i want if its uh, disk increases to 50 percent get i should get an alert so today we will see this so to set an alert we need two things item trigger item trigger so how they work so item is a kind of thing which collect data for example if i will say we want to uh, we want an alert regarding cpu so it will go to that server and uh, get cpu usage value for example it is 90 so now trigger will do its functionality uh, it apply some kind of conditions <coughs> sorry for that on data collected by item and for example it, it, it will match if 90 percent 90 is greater than 70 if 70 is our threshold so it will generate a alert who trigger so they just uh, work together okay and these are multiple hosts you can add them okay let's see how it works let's close this First of all, we're gonna make a item. Why? Because item will go and uh, get some detail. For example, let's go for a CPU. Okay, let's go for a disk alert. Okay, create item, give a name. Uh, for example, test disk alert. Please uh, type these names according to your need, and these are these are some kinds of alerts so i will just go to the zabbix agent i will describe it later what is this and uh, you have to select a key okay just go here and uh, search for whatever you want means what is your need for example disk disk space your need is disk space okay so read this disk space in bytes or in percentage form okay so you you can get an uh, get an idea that how it's gonna work so just select this key this is the key which we gonna need there are multiple keys for example file size this one it will go and uh, get the file size of any log file okay so right now we gonna take this okay so what is fs and uh, what is mode okay for this i will tell you for example fs is file system for example i want to monitor my slash memory okay so what is slash uh, sudo hyphen i df hyphen th so this slash i want to monitor this slash okay so and give a comma and i want if 
used okay if used is greater than something okay you can also put it a uh, percentage free for example if 20% free left okay or p for percentage you can for example if you want that if alert my desk goes to 80% means used okay so slash percentage used this will be our key and uh, what different kind of values you can gonna put is total free how much free how much used brief p free percentage free p used percentage used okay so just go through this zabex documentation or you can ask me in comment if you have any doubt and uh, okay so for example uh, just go here this is 42% okay for example what about if it goes to 4.5% 4, 4 means this is the float value okay so we will take this type of information is float okay now just go to the end and click on add so you can see this message item is added and now where is our item this is our item test disk alert and what is its key its key is this after 30 seconds it will recheck every 30 seconds it will go and check okay so now our item is created this is created it is going after 30 each 30 seconds uh, this go to the server and get details what details this slash detail and its percentage used this is used and this is percentage used okay so go back here and now we are gonna create a trigger come to the trigger create trigger put a name for example test disk alert these names should be according to you okay according to your need now select that item we just created one step behind select search your item that was test this where is that just close it select vfs dot fs where is my item this is my item okay just copy this and go to the trigger create a trigger add select my item this is my item here it is okay select this okay just select this one okay the last most t value what is t now t is equal to for example in now this is equal to 42 okay so it will match 42 greater than n so what is n for example n is 60 percent okay if my disk goes above 65 okay so okay so t is greater than n t greater than n so what is t t is the uh, used percentage here so it is 42 okay 42 greater than what is n we put n is 65 is it greater no so it will not generate any alert for example it increased to 92 so is it greater yes so it will generate a alert let's see this click on insert go back to the Zabbix put a name here test alert okay and uh, give it a high flag click on add okay so trigger is added if you go back to your item where is my item this one so you can see that a trigger is uh, created here okay so 
just increase the disk usage this is 42 percent let's increase it there is a command to increase i will use f allocate okay so i will increase i will create a test file for 2 gb of space okay so see previously it was 4.5 gb free now df hyphen th now it is 2.5 gb free and it the use was 42 percent now used is 69 percent so now what is the value of t now t value changed to 69 so is 69 greater 65 yes it's greater so it will generate a alert for us let's see hey the alert is 25 seconds ago it's the age of this alert and yes hooray we have done this okay so this is how we can generate alert now you can go to the monitoring tab now go to the graphs and uh, you can select this usage disk usage is this okay so you can see a lot of graphs here for example cpu utilization green 100 percent green means 100 percent available so let's increase cpu as well to show you graph okay so i just in this is this command will increase my server cpu so within just one minute it will increase the cpu see <laughs> this is in seconds this works yeah so it will increase the cpu and the graph will change from green to red and blue so you can see here what is red and what is blue okay so this is how zabbix work it all works on item trigger item trigger item trigger sorry item calculate data trigger apply conditions and generate alert for us these kinds of alerts if i go and uh, sorry sudo hyphen i if i delete this test one df hyphen th would be back to the 42 percent and 4.5 gb available so it will just go back this alert will go back soon it just took 30 to 60 seconds to get update from there okay so meanwhile we can see our graph monitoring graph cpu see the cpu was gonna high and remaining part is green and use part is this so you can monitor your things on Zabbix easily and yes it's gone okay and uh, in report you can see trigger top 100 okay so this was this tutorial and uh, I also made some Linux and AWS tutorials please go and watch them I will put the uh, URLs there at the end of this video thank you if you like this please share with your friends if you want me to create any other video on any other topic please tell me in the comment thank you have a nice day